Hello, Trev 2323 here. Just a little bit on black pipe. Uh, I'm putting some black pipe together uh, for a wood burning stove. Uh, I'm, I'm jack of all trades, master of none. I love hobbies. If I could do this all the time, I would be just doing hobbies all the time. I think it brings out your creativity also when you're putting stuff together, trying to troubleshoot it. But uh, on the black pipe right here, I don't know if you can see, I got the high heat caulk right here. And you know, on this one, I have it down here also. These are joints that I, I've done already. And I put it around the inside, but I, I, one reason why I would like to tell you why to put it on the inside, you put it on the inside, then I smoothed it around the outside right here, is because when you put the sheet metal, oh, oh, down here, the sheet metal screws in here, the sheet metal screws are going to hold it, I put four of them on, it's going to hold it, but you're still going to have some wiggle room, and it's not going to be a, some, a completely tight seal. But if you put the caulk on the inside and jam it down, the caulk gets really, really, really hard. It's really hard, so it helps stabilize your black pipe. So that's one reason why you're putting caulk in there, and also to get your vacuum. Now, if you notice, the crimpled end is on the inside of the uh, flat end, but that's because so your creosote, when it goes in there, your creosote drips down into it, and your creosote don't drip on the outside of it. You should be burning uh, two-year-old seasoned wood, so you don't get as much creosote. But I just want to let you know why you caulk on the inside of it. it. It actually hardens and it stables it, and then you seal it all around, so you get a good draw. All right, hopefully that helps them. Okay, here's my makeshift rain cap. Uh, if you can see right here, all it is is a, a black pipe that I cut and I shaped. I kind of screwed it in and wrapped it around here, screwed it in with some sheet metal screws, crimped the top a little bit to get a little bit more coverage. I kind of, I, I feel I cut a little bit short, but I don't want it to catch the wind really good. And all I do is, I know this is not the proper way to do, like I said, I'm a, you know, a, a hobbyist here. So what this is right here is just, this, this is just something to give somebody else ideas of, man, I need a rain cap just to stop the rain going in or all the rain going in. And well, this is what I came up with. Hopefully you can come up with something too and post it. Thanks. Bye. Okay, all I got here right now is a regular long box stove. You can see right there. It's just hooked up in a back porch. It's not even a fully enclosed back porch. Well, it's enclosed, but it's just not insulated. The black pipe goes up, and I have it going straight across. This is one thing I wanted to show you right here. Actually, I just made this myself. I fabricated it. Of course, this probably isn't up to code or nothing like that. This was just for shits and giggles why I built this thing and put it together. But I go from the black pipe into the stainless steel pipe the super chimney the ch super vent right here and what this is if you can see this is just a box of three quarter inch plywood it's not insulated it's not nothing but the the decorative plate that comes uh that you purchase with this uh the super vent the, the piece right here this right here there's a one inch clearance in here there's a one inch clearance and then the decorative plate goes on so this is not even touching the board this right here is cut on the inside. I cut the window out and uh, expanded a little bit, then put this in place and screwed it in. Uh, like I said, that's a super vent. It goes all the way through the outside, but then I go back into black pipe right there. But then uh, that's all black pipe right there. Let me come here. That's all black pipe going down straight into the long box stove. Like I said, this is a. Uh, 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 Probably not to code here, but this is just like I said, this is just a hobby and actually I burned the stove like three times And that's kind of all I wanted to do. I'm probably gonna sell the stove But keep the vent to go that out because I am gonna put something else in here in one of my other hobbies that I'll show you Let me go on the outside so I can check it out and let you know what everything else is out there Okay coming from the outside of the house. You see I kind of made my own flashing right there. Excuse a dumb dog barking That's my neighbor's dog but I see the flashing and the super vent comes out. That is the actual outside of the, uh, that comes with the flashing part of it. But then I went from super vent, I actually put refractory mortar around it. I'll come back out some more. And then, oh, that's going in. I come back out some more. So then when it comes up, there's about two feet, maybe two and a half feet from the roof. And it goes all the way up to the chimney flue that I made, the chimney cover. 
Oh my god, that dog's driving me nuts. Uh, those straps I made that I bought, actually, they were uh, $3 each. Pipe was right there to the curve. It took two, no, it took three of us to get that pipe up and focus it right. Let me go back inside now. Okay, there's the top of my chimney flue right there. As you can see, there's a little bit of smoke coming out of it, but most of it's pretty clean burning. Uh, when you put first put logs on it, you're going to get a really smoky, uh, a lot of smoke out of there. But as it gets heated, as it gets really hot, it, uh, the, the smoke goes away and, and it uh, burns pretty clean. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped out. Uh, like the video if, you, uh, if it helped you in any type of way. Bye-bye.